Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather, I am a styling, skincare, hair care, self care enthusiast. I don't have any training or anything, I just have people ask me questions sometimes, so I decided to start a YouTube channel to share my thoughts. So, um, first things first, Happy New Year to everybody. Um, uh, merry, happy, awesome, whatever holiday you happen to celebrate, if any. Um, if not, you got through December, it's a new year, yay, good job. Um, you might notice I'm in a different spot than usual. I'm actually on my couch. Um, I hurt my back, uh, and this is just easier for me than my hard kitchen chairs. Um, also, uh, it basically sounds like the apocalypse is starting outside. Um, I live in part of the country where uh, there's a, a ton of rain and storms and stuff happening um, at the moment. So um, it's much louder over by the window. So now I'm kind of not near a window. So I thought that would be a good idea. So I took that picture, by the way, in Bologna, Italy, and then I got it blown up. Um, and then over here is my piano. And this is... Um, uh, uh, different types of sheet music that I had framed and like they hang above the piano. So. Um, all right, so uh, today I'm going to be unboxing my Allure Beauty um, beauty box, except there's a small problem. Um, so I went outside to get the beauty box from my porch and it was sopping wet from this rain that we've had. Um, my sister had also sent me a belated Christmas gift. Um, she was supposed to be here um, but she got COVID and so she couldn't, she couldn't travel here. And so we, we sent presents back and forth. Um, I did not know that the present was arriving today and, um, the, the cardboard was basically falling apart, which is, you know, not nobody's fault, but, um, yes, interesting. Uh, so the box was soaking wet. So I decided to take everything out of the box, but I, I tried like not to look at it. So I've got my little green bowl here with all of my, my products in it. And so we're just, we're just going to do it that way. So whatever. Um, also, uh, if anybody has a loft in their area and they like the look of this giant grandpa sweater that I have on here, um, I, uh, I got this the day after Christmas with a Christmas sale. I've been wearing it nonstop. It is so comfy. It is not itchy. Um, it's nice and warm, but it's not too warm. I have slept in it. I've worn it with leggings. I've worn it as like a part of a cute going out outfit. I, I very highly recommend it. I don't know if any lofts have any of these left, but I'm, I'm having a great time. This is a great sweater. I'm very, very happy with it. Anyway. Um, okay. So we've got, um, the best Valentine's day gift for him gift, a GQ subscription. So um, you know, I do think my boyfriend might like this. It's got like Schmidt's deodorant. It's got playing cards. He has a gazillion playing cards. Um, it's got like one of those, one of those face razor things. He uses just a regular razor. Like what is that for, for a man? I don't know. Um, Bomba socks. It's got a face mask, um, a sheet mask. We actually did sheet masks together the first time. Uh, I think it was yesterday. And he, he said it was too gooey and it was too cold. He didn't really like them. Um, so I don't know if he's going to like anything really in this box. And then a gift for everyone you love, you know, for, you know, Allure Beauty Box, whatever. Okay. Um, so we've got our little pamphlets here as per usual. So this says it's the Glow Getter Box. So whether you stick to all your New Year's resolutions or break some by January 3rd, here's an easy one for you, or here's an idea for one that'll be easy to check off your list. Glowing on the quick. The products inside your January box include easy cheats for radiance that take practically no time to apply, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So, um, uh, the first thing we have is Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. So, um, it's this guy here. This is a giant container. Like, this is, this is the same height as my face, right? Um, why you'll love it. Um, this fine mist does everything a good setting spray should, and then some. It helps prevent makeup from caking, settling into fine lines, and fading without feeling dry or tight. Actually making your makeup look better at the same time. Um, blah, blah, blah. So give the bottle a quick shake, hold it eight to 10 inches from your face and with your eyes closed, of course, uh, mist it onto your skin. So question for this. Um, so then it says a few spritzes in the afternoon, give my makeup the same freshly done glow it had in the morning. So this is, this is, so hydro grip set and refresh spray. And it just says shake well then spray. So are you supposed to spray this before you put on makeup or after you put on makeup or either or both? I just, I, did, I mean, clearly you can spray it after you do makeup. I just, I, I don't know. I just want to be sure. So um, their Hydro Grip Primer is the same color, although, you know, half the size. This is a really nice, like, container. It's like a nice, smooth bottle. Um, I have a little bit of makeup on, but not a lot. I've been back to using the Ilia Skin Serum Tint, which um, makes my skin look really, really good on my Zoom calls that I have to do for work. I have a little bit of eyebrow mascara. I'm sure I have nothing left on my lips this time of day. Uh, my um, my Lash Lift and Tint, it, you can still kind of see it, but it's it's fading. Um, I need to get it redone probably next month. So um, I like to turn my lips in, by the way, when I use sprays like this. So that way you don't like get it on your lips and then lick your lips because that's gross. So anyway. Mm. Mm. Woo. Okay. Okay. It's got a smell. 
Um, there's some kind of a plasticky smell with it. I can't, it's like an old plastic smell that I can't put my finger on. I don't know if that's because it was just like the first sprays or like, I don't know what the, what is happening here? Um, I don't know what the deal with that is, but okay. Um, I feel like that sprayed a lot out of the container for what I just did. Like that's, that's, I don't know. I feel like that's a lot. I might just be nitpicking. Um, the, uh, the spray nozzle itself was very, like, it's not a mist, right? It's a spray. <laughs> so um, you might expect this to sort, like, you really have to hold it far from your face because otherwise it's, meh, it's really going to, it's really going to get in your face. Um, I have, you know, these two sprays, I've gotten both of these in my Allure Beauty Box and I have them right next to me here on my couch. So like, I got sprays. Um, I guess the spray is good for, for makeup. So like, um, I have to go... Uh, I've mentioned I live on the East Coast and I have to go to, um, not the East Coast, for work soon. Um, and uh, uh, I might be sweating in that location and so it might be good to have something like this on me um, to replenish some of that moisture. Although the dewy skin thing, I never really like that. Um, it's a tiny bit tacky, but not, not bad. Um, it does look a little shiny on me, right? This is not what my makeup looked like first thing this morning. So um, I like it, it's fine. Milk Makeup, I, I really want to like a lot of their things and then I just end up not liking them so much. Um, I've gotten a bunch of samples from them and stuff. Nothing of theirs has like really stuck out to me as something I absolutely need to have. So um, I like the packaging for this. Um, it could be, you know, user error. Maybe this will be good when my skin is drier or something, but so far nothing to write home about. Um, by the way, this is $38 for 3.38 ounces. So I think this is, I think this is full size. Um, it doesn't even say clearly how large it is. Yeah, 3.38 ounces, 100 milliliters. So this is full size. Um, good value. I don't know if it's my favorite product, so that's okay. Um, although now that it's dried down a little bit, I think it's better now that it dried down a little, right? Um, okay, next thing. Uh, Elta MD UV Daily Tinted SPF 40. So tinted SPFs make me like a little trepidatious. And the reason is because um, to get the full effect of sunscreen on your face, you need to apply like a large chickpea size of sunblock. Most people are not using that if they're using a tinted sunblock. They just want the tint to cover their face. And so um, most tinted sunscreen products, people aren't using enough to actually get the benefits of using a sunblock. So um, I tend to put on something that's just sunblock um, first and then put on something else after. Um, you know, like the, the Ilia, Ila, whatever it is. Um, it has sunscreen in it. Most makeup now has sunscreen in it, frankly. Um, Elta MD is a good brand. Um, so I am kind of excited to, uh, to use that. It says, um, you know, their sunscreens are perpetual favorites of dermatologists for their skin-saving broad-spectrum protection. The brand's tinted formula is light enough to wear every day and its sheer color evens out complexions without looking makeup-y or sunscreen-y. Um, $38 for 1.7 ounces. Sunblock is getting like ridiculously expensive. Um, I still say, if you look at my sunblock video, it was like one of the first or second videos I did. Um, you can get Banana Boat Sport Sunblock, which is, it dries down really nicely. Um, spray some in your hands and put that on your face. You're good to go for your sunblock and that's way cheaper than a lot of these facial sunblocks. Um, if you're prone to maybe like breakouts or you know that Banana Boat doesn't work for you, of course that's one thing. But um, if like it doesn't, it doesn't make me break out at all to use it on my face. Um, Anyway, so uh, thirty-seven or $38 for 1.7 ounces. Um, I want to see what the sunscreen is. Is this? So octinacate um, is, I think, a chemical sunscreen. And then zinc oxide is a physical sunscreen. So they have both of those listed as the active ingredients. Um, anyway, oh, that was a weird noise. Trying to get some out of the container. There we go. Okay. So, you know, there's the color. Um... Definitely smells like a sunblock. I don't think that did bupkis to my face. I also, I really don't want to put more on because this is a very like orangey, I can even see it on my hands. I can see like orangey tinted. I don't know if you guys can see it on the, on the screen there, but it looks kind of orangey to me. Um, so like, I like the concept of a tinted sunblock. This dries down, this is very nice. The texture is very nice. Um, Elta MD does make nice products. I would recommend their sunblocks. Um, and, you know, considering this did bupkis to my face, maybe you could use enough of this sunblock in order to actually have protection for your face. Um, but I'd rather see people get, like, a larger container of sunspot, sun, sunblock 
that doesn't have a tint in it that's less expensive so that they can actually use the amount they're supposed to use and it's gonna last the same amount of time as if you use this every day and not using it that much but now you're not using as much as you need to for your sun protection so um anyway um, it does dry down pretty nice though I have to say it's it's almost powdery but it's not it's not like weird pilly whatever it's it's a nice finish um, so if this is your bet this is this is your kind of thing I would recommend this particular one um, okay next thing rock skincare hydrate plus plump serum capsules full size the serum is housed in capsules which can help preserve its efficacy light and air may break down skincare ingredients this is true um, it leaves skin hydrated soothed and dewy um, and the emollient caprylic capric triglycerides okay that's a new skincare thing haven't heard of those before um, they fill in lines to make complexions feel even soft and smooth Snap off the tip of the capsule and squeeze out a dime-sized amount of the clear serum. It spreads easily across the face, and there's enough to smooth a little down your neck, too. So $32.99 for 30 capsules. So this is, this is um, full size. These capsules are biodegradable, which is nice. Um, so you can get these from Rock Skin Care. I do find you can find Rock at um, Costco, which is nice. Um, 30 of these capsules, though, like, I guess you're supposed... Are you supposed to use it every day? Do you use it in the morning? Do you, like, what do you... Um, so I'm just looking at the box to see if there's further instructions. Um, in one night, 100% had visibly plumper skin in one night. In one week, 100% had visibly reduced lines and wrinkles and a two times boost in skin hydration levels. In four weeks, 91% had firmer looking skin. 90% said this product delivered results better than they expected from skincare. Um, so they have like recommended regimen. They have target, treat, and moisturize. So this is the treat portion of that routine I guess um, so it is nice um, that they the capsules are biodegradable the packet here says to cut them open this says you can twist them open I have rock capsules of retinol um, which by the way were too strong for me to use for quite a few years um, until I got used to the retinol and it says smooth serum over cleansed face and neck at night when skin is most receptive to hydration and renewal um, okay so the way you get these open you so here's the little capsule right so you pinch the top here and you kind of twist this off and it might sort of get everywhere so you gotta be careful come on okay I took it off with my nail more than anything got the capsule Woo! so it's just some it's some clear goo right you can't really see what's happening here no smell no smell so this is where I'm concentrating this because this is where I have all my wrinkles is under my eyes second place I have wrinkles is here then I like to put some here uh, I don't know if this is enough to smooth down your neck you're gonna feel like your your hands are serum me, so you might feel like, oh hey, I can smooth this down my neck, but is that just like your hands are moisturized or is that you have extra on your hands and now you're using it? I don't know. Um, so this is, all right, here's that, here we go. Um, I do like the Rock Skin Care in general, um, but if you're starting out with retinol, I would not start out with Rock's retinol because I remember when I tried to use it in my 20s and um, it just, it like burned my face. I can use it now, I can use it now. Just don't, don't start with it, I wouldn't recommend. Um, but I love these little ampoule things, and I love that the little ampoules are biodegradable. So that's, and glass is the easiest thing to recycle. Pretty sure, actually, that might be plastic. Um, okay, so that's a pretty good item. All right, next thing. Uh, Dermalect Transfix Nail Restore and Repair Base Coat, full size. Um, this base coat helps prevent new damage so nails can grow in stronger, and it hides yellowness and ridges so nail polish on the top looks better. It's also so pretty that you might decide to, decide to skip nail polish. One coat makes for a fresh, healthy-looking manicure all on its own. Um, $18 for point, point 0.4 ounces. So I think this is this is full size. I think so. Um, this says it's part of Clean Beauty. It's the 10 plus free. So it's formulated without formaldehyde, DBP, formaldehyde resin, um, toluene, camphor, oh man, dithylhexyl adipate. Xylene, ethyl tosylamide, parabens, and TPP. So that's nice. Um, anyway, uh, so my, uh, all right, full disclosure, I actually looked up what was going to be in this. Why? Why do you, don't do this. It's a nail polish. It's not going to, drive me crazy. Um, it looks even smaller when you get it out of the container. This is not a normal nail polish size. Um, sorry. All right. So full disclosure, um, I looked up what was in the box before the box got here. I think I looked it up yesterday. Um, and so I knew this was coming because I want to see what I was getting. Um, 
I am doing a no spend month for January. Um, I've, I think I've posted about these before. So basically I'm not buying anything extra. So I, I do not need any personal care products, any hair care products, any clothes, um, anything like that. And so um, I've seen this nail uh, concealer. I forget who makes it um, on Amazon. And I really wanna try it, but I'm doing a no spend month, right? And so my dumb face, I look up yesterday what I'm getting in my Allure Beauty box. What do I do today after work? Paint my nails. So I'm actually gonna try this on my feet. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna lift my feet up to the camera, but I'm gonna try it on my foot and maybe I'll move the camera so that you guys can see. It really doesn't help that I did the, I did the gosh darn, um, um, what's it called first? I did, the, I did the serum first, that's, that's bad. I might not be able to get this open. Oh my God, all right, this is not, this might not work, you guys. Ha, got it open, good, okay. By the way, these are socks that I got in Japan. I know, you don't care, it's fine. Um, but uh, look look how cute this is. So you actually put in your big toe in this front part here, and then you put the rest of your toes here, and it's got sushi on it. These are really comfy. I was going to give these as gifts to people, and then um, my feet started getting new blisters every day, and I needed different shoes and different socks, and then I had to wear the socks, and so I kept the socks. So anyway, okay. So I'm gonna shake this. Sometimes nail polish has a little like, uh, like a marble in it, or like a, like a ball bearing so that you can um, um, make sure it gets, it gets um, shaken up. Okay, I'm so used to static nail polish that when like, looking at this brush, this is a dinky little brush, okay? Static nails has much wider brushes. So that's already like, meh, whatever. Um, so I'm also supposed to get a pedicure on Saturday. Um, so we'll see if that happens. All right. Okay. All right, I see it, this is cool, okay. You know what, let's take the iPad on vacation. Let's, let's show y'all, okay. I'm going to, can I turn this around? No, of course I can't. Um, so now I'm gonna show you my foot unceremoniously. Okay, so I just did the big toe. Can we see this? Probably not. All right, big toe. Looks kinda, you know, kinda shiny, kinda pretty. The other toes, less, less pretty. My feet are not my best feature, so, you know. Um, I think that looks pretty good. You know, it's it's better than a clear coat. I don't know if I would pay $18 for it, but, uh, you know, I'm glad I have this instead of having to buy uh, the nail concealer, whatever the heck that stuff is that I kind of wanted to buy. So, um, next thing. L'Occitane Immortel Divine Cream. Hmm. This is L'Occitane's most popular face cream for its rich texture, just decadent enough to feel super fancy and moisturizing without it being too heavy, and how it makes cheeks noticeably softer. It's named for the bright yellow Immortel flower, whose extracts are supposed to help fade wrinkles and dark spots. Massage into your skin morning and night over your usual serum, and in the mornings under your new sunscreen. $115 for 1.7 ounces. We have 0.4 ounces included in the box. So this is a quarter of what you usually get. This is tiny, y'all. This is, this is, this is minuscule. For $115, I, it's really getting excessive. It's a lot. Oh, it does smell nice. It, it smells yellow, if that makes any sense to anyone. Um, I mean, it said cheeks, you know, let's do this. Um, definitely has a smell, um, has a, Frankly, it smells like it belongs in Lost of Ten, and it has like a it has like a honey situation going with it. It smells yellow. I don't know how else to explain it. I don't know. Um, I mean, my face is soft, but also like I just put a whole mess of crap on my face. So I, I guess I have to try this later because I'm an idiot. Um, but this is going to be like a week, right? I'm not spending one hundred and fifteen dollars a month on this little cream. Okay, I'm very sorry, Lost of Ten. It did dry down nicely on my fingers. It did do that. No, no, uh, yeah. So this cheek feels like greasier, I guess. This cheek actually feels softer. So I guess there's that. All right, I like it, not spending $115 on it. Um, okay, next thing. We've got Egyptian Magic All-Purpose Cream. Okay, makeup artists love this balm. It's a combo of uh, honey, beeswax, and olive oil quickly soothes and moisturizes, has been known to make many cheekbones run uh, glow on runways, a nice alternative to glittering highlighters. So this is $39 for four ounces. Um, I actually, this is the first thing in an Allure Beauty Box that like I have and I use. I love Egyptian magic. 
I use this stuff all the time. This is my heaviest moisturizer that I use when I need it. It's a good alternative to like Aquaphor. Um, you can put it pretty much on anything. It's very natural. It's very straightforward. It's very hydrating. Um, I got my aunt actually turned on by it a little bit, uh, and she's been using it for, for a long time on her face. Um, you can use this for like anything. Anything you can use like like Rosebud Bag Balm, um, Paw Paw Ointment, Aquaphor. Um, I mean, it's unscented, but it, ha it has like a little kind of smell to it, but it's, it's unscented. Um, but you can kind of use this anywhere. I love Egyptian Magic. That four ounces, um, $39 sounds like a little steep. That 39 ounces is going to last you a long, long, long time. Um, I highly recommend Egyptian Magic. If you can get it at Costco, actually, they usually have the four ounce one and they have either one or two of these little guys that you can just like throw in your purse, which is really nice. Um, so I, I, I love this stuff. Can't, can't recommend it enough. Um, the final thing we have in here is the Eva New York City Therapy Session Hair Mask. It's a bonus. When hair is dry or staticky this time of year, a hydrating hair mask can work wonders. It has jojoba seed oil and argan oil. My, my, my. Um, after shampooing, spread this from roots to ends using your fingertips and let it sit for a few minutes before rinsing. $16 for 500 milliliters. I love that they tell you now how much you get in the box. It says you have 20 milliliters included in the box. Um, so you're going to get like 25 times more. So you're going to get a pretty big container of this if you choose to order it. I this feels like it's paper. This feels not so plasticky, which makes me happy because paper is much more biodegradable than plastic. Um, I have mentioned this before. Uh, I'm probably going to have to mention it again. My hair naturally is always like a 7 out of 10, even when it just dries the way it dries. Like, um, I think I don't think I've told this story in a while. Um, when I was in college, I was a music major. I saw the same people every day, all the time. And um, my friend, who was a music major, got married right after college. And all the music majors that graduated that year, we all sat together at the same table at the wedding. And I don't remember how it came up, but my hair came up as a topic of conversation. And um, uh, one of my friends said, you have never had a bad hair day. We saw you every day for four years. You never had a bad hair day. And I was like, well, what about the... And they're like, no, you have never had a bad hair day. And I was like, oh, okay. Thank you. That's very nice. Thank you. Um, because my, my thick hair actually, I got like made fun of, for, fun of for it when I was a kid. I had someone on the bus threaten to cut it off once, which was interesting. There was a, a boy in choir that stood next to me that like, if, if my hair was like this on my shoulder, he would get like all weird. I don't know. Anyway. Um, so the point of me telling you this is that because it doesn't really like, as long as I have an okay conditioner, it doesn't really matter what I do to my hair. It, it, it's going to be pretty good. So if something takes my hair from like a seven to like a nine out of 10, or, you know, God forbid a 10 out of 10, that's a really big deal to me. But most of these things, they take my hair from like a seven to like a 7.5 or maybe an eight. Like I'm looking for a two point difference for this to really be something that I write home about. So I love a good hair mask. I love an intense hair mask. This will probably be two treatments for me. Um, and it is, you know, it's cruelty free, you know, GMOs, uh, it's vegan, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not anticipating anything groundbreaking from it. So, um, then it says, you know, Allure Beauty Box, shop the member store. I was this close to ordering a couple things out of the beauty store and I didn't because I'm doing a no spend month, even though I wanted the things, there was a reason for me to get the things. It was a hand cream, it was a hand and, um, cuticle cream that I got in a previous box that I ran out of that I really liked. But I'm like, no, I have a whole bunch of moisturizers. I don't need to order another moisturizer for my hands. I don't need to do this. And then on the back here, it's just an ad for the L'Occitane and Provence Immortel Divine Creme Jeunesse. French is not my best language. So it's, you know, strong as retinol and vitamin C, gentle as nature. Hmm. Apparently, uh, you get 10% off using the code Allure10. So there you go on the L'Occitane website. So that is our beauty box for the month of January. Thank you for dealing with all of my craziness and doing this on my couch. Um, I will say with all those serums and things, I think that rock serum did, did a pretty good job, right? Um, my skin does look nice and, and moisturized and dewy and it doesn't look greasy. Um, and it feels nice. I still feel this side is a little greasy and this side is much softer because that's the side that I use the loss of tan cream on. So still not paying $115 for it though. Um, anyway, that is this month's box. Thank you so much for tuning in. 24 minutes. Oh my gosh, Carly. Um, if there's any questions I can answer for you, of course, put them down in the comment section below. And otherwise, I hope you have a really awesome rest of your day. Thanks so much for tuning in.